Okay, let's see how this works. Hey everybody, I just wanted to pop in and say hi and let you know that even though I am the one making this video, I am not actually the person going to actually teach this class. Instead, Ms. Brown will be teaching this for us, but I wanted you to know that we are actually making some adjustments and changes to how we structure the portfolio. And you are the first group going through this restructuring for everybody. We piloted it in the spring with a small group to see how it worked, and we kind of liked it. And so we decided we need to roll it out to all our students, so we're making some tweaks and some adjustments and kind of doing this and that. And so that's why you're going to kind of see Ms. Masher and I interjecting here and there within the course. So I'm kind of starting us off with this first module. So in this first module, you're going to just really get familiar with what a digital portfolio is. We have our handbook that has been updated, but it's, kind of, it's, it's a little bit vague. I will, I will say that. I'll be honest with that. It talks about how you're going to write captions for some artifacts and how you're going to record reflections for other artifacts, but it doesn't go into a lot of detail. And that's because we're still working on ironing out those details. So I wanted to give you the bones of the project and then the rest of this course, we're going to put those pieces together. So you're gonna help me and Ms. Masher to make that handbook better for future students and the process exactly hopefully how we want it um i hope you're okay with that don't freak out it's all going to be good because we you know, we have the idea it's just it's getting it out to you as we need to so um here's the plan this first module there's a couple pages you need to go through uh, there's a handbook again that i want you to look through because even though it's it's um it's basic. It does give you kind of an, okay, I see. I kind of I kind of get where we're going. And there's a scavenger hunt. It's kind of, you know, hold you accountable for going through that. And then starting with the next module, which probably will not be open until next week, um, on, on sometime on Wednesday, I'm thinking. And so you'll, 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 you'll get into that, and we'll start talking about, okay, so here is an artifact. And I know if you've had classes with me, if you took 805 this summer, um, we did, we used uh, the reflection template, so we're going to kind of look at that and how that can be used in the portfolio process, especially for the reflections, but we'll be looking at you know, artifacts, what assignments, those are called artifacts when you're doing portfolio, what are you going to use to show that you master or you can exemplify your knowledge of the different standards and we've got a, a new knowledge base that's another piece of it we've got a new knowledge base we've got new standards which don't come into effect for you guys but they will next semester and whoo it's all topsy-turvy so you'll be doing we'll be looking at that new knowledge base and those are that's where you're going to write captions and you'll read more about you'll learn more about captions in the future, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here. And then that's that's what we call area one is the knowledge base with the captions. And then we have what we're calling area two, which are the content standards. And for a library and media specialist, the State Department of Education has standards that we go by in our program. And for the technology integration specialist, we use the itch itchy <laughs> the it's the technology coaching standards. So you'll be working with those as we reflect, and that area too is kind of going to be what we're calling an oral defense. And so you won't just be typing your reflections, you'll actually be speaking, recording, creating. And so those are the pieces that we're going to put together in this short course, just to get you ready and to know here's what's coming, so hopefully you get started and you start making a plan. So that when you get to your last semester, you're not like, oh my gosh, I've got it in my portfolio. When did I do this? And what, did, what was that? And where did that come from? And all that stuff. So we're going, we need to, to, to get a groove on here and get moving with the portfolio piece. I know you're going to have questions. 
Um, I know that you might, after watching this video, be thinking, holy cow, what? Okay, so just hold those. Write them down somewhere. Keep them. And as we work through this class, as we work through future classes, and as you get closer to your portfolio, we'll answer those. And hopefully by the end, you have an assessment portfolio that really shows how you changed and grew academically and professionally from your first semester in the program to your last semester in the program. That's the goal of the whole thing. So when you're done here, are you ready to go out and do the job that you've, been, you've trained yourself to do? Whether that be a school librarian, whether that be a tech integration specialist, and within that, you know, it could be a, a lead teacher, a technology coach, an instructional coach, whatever. Are you ready to go out and do that? And we're doing that with our knowledge base for our College of Education and with those professional content standards. All right, so you ready? Let's get started. We're going to go. We're, gonna, we're not jumping in with both feet. We're going to wade in slowly. I'll talk to you all soon.